your damaged nervous system is what is standing in the way of you receiving the clear communication and guidance from your internal self, from your divine team, from your higher self, in order to live the life that would most be fulfilling to you. And so I say this because when our nervous system is dysregulated and it's damaged in ways, our limbic system is acting up and controlling our life in ways that we're not even aware of, we are not a clear channel for receiving what's trying to come through. Because when our nervous system is chaotic, right, our environment, maybe the people in our life, our job, our relationships, our circumstances, whatever, are causing all this stress, all this like complete damage to the nervous system, then our thoughts are going haywire and our, we're not controlling our thoughts. We're not in like a centered place in our mind, body, spirit. And so it's like we go into meditation and sometimes it's just like a fight, right? A fight to like get into that space just to be mindful. And then receiving messages and downloads is the next step after mindfulness, right? Because we have to be in that place of being aware in order to receive. And sometimes they come through as thoughts, the guidance and the and the communication from our divine team, from our higher self comes through as thoughts, as our own. And so we get lucky in a way. And that can happen too. Like when I was really, really sick, living on a yacht and working on a yacht, um, I was, I was like, am I dying? My thoughts were so haywire. I was having loop thoughts. I was, I was not able to hold a thought, like a topic for more than a few seconds. So I'd be like, I need to find help. I need to find a doctor. And then I would lose that thought. Like my nervous system was really, really shot. Like I, my whole neurological system was crazy. I was like putting keys in the fridge. I was doing like all these weird things. And and so I would try to meditate and I would try to connect up. I would try to ask for guidance, but like you're never left alone. And so when I woke up one time and I was just like, it's mold, like something like shot through my mind and like gave me like a one second thing so that I could still receive the guidance. But once I was able to recognize like what was causing that, that harm to my nervous system to my body and remove that and then after years of like trying different treatments and trying all these things finally coming to the, the understanding of the nervous system of the limbic system and then healing that that's when i was able to like have this complete shift in my reality because from there i was able to like be centered in myself in my relationships, in my career, in my just entire existence. I was able to wake up and to just feel like me again, right? And there's still certain things that knock me off, but I can recognize it really quick. Like I had talked about, like I had my mom visiting here and we just, we, sorry, there's a lot of dogs going off. I'm here in Italy right now on a horse farm and there's also a lot of rescue dogs here and a lot of dogs in general and animals and goats and donkeys. It's so cool. But when I got dysregulated the past few weeks, I noticed I wasn't myself anymore because I finally found myself. I noticed I wasn't able to get into that clear communication meditation where I'm like opening up to guidance because I knew that I was dysregulated. And so having the tools to regulate your body, your nervous system allows you to open up, allows you to trust yourself in your beingness and your experience on earth and know that that's you. And when you're centered in yourself and when you know yourself, nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. It doesn't matter if people like you. It doesn't matter if you don't get the job. It doesn't matter if you, you know, things change rapidly because if you know yourself and you trust yourself and your centeredness and your guidance, you know that you are always in the right place at the right time, right? And so there is so much freedom in regulation and, now that we're through that and we understand that and you probably already understand that and know that for yourself and you're maybe searching for ways to regulate your nervous system to heal your body in that way like i i just have to hit on this too it's like nervous system regulation and healing the nervous system retraining the brain reprogramming the mind like joe dispenza talks about like gupta dnrs like all these different programs also arlo can we not can we not sit 
she's so ready to go outside. Arlo's my dog, if you're new here. Um, I had a friend, this is just one example, and multiple friends who have had this experience, but who went through a brain retraining program. And by going through that program, she was first in a wheelchair. She was in a wheelchair from Lyme disease and other chronic illnesses, and she could not do treatments. Like her body was, her nervous system saw all these supplements and everything that she would try to do to heal as threats because the nervous system just starts wiring things together. They see like supplements as like a, um, a relationship with the illness maybe and so it, it triggers different things within the body maybe they're clear symptoms maybe they're just neurological maybe it's just stress and you don't even know and so she wasn't able to really do anything like take anything follow the things that other people were able to do the thing that worked for her was retraining her mind was healing her nervous system <laughs> and now I'm so happy for her she has four kids she had maybe five at this she has a lot of kids i think they're like all girls still <laughs> and uh and she's able to just have normal food she doesn't have to be gluten-free dairy-free soy-free sugar-free uh nightshade free she doesn't have to be all those things she doesn't have to try to survive in this world there's a difference between trying to survive and thriving i noticed my life in california Part of the reason why I left, I love it, I love California, I miss California a lot, but part of the reason I left was because I felt like I was just trying to survive all the time, like doing all these things. They can be great, but like ice bath, like breath work and meditation and blah, 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 blah. And like, but there were still things that were just like knocking me off of my regulation that made me have to do all these regulation stuff as well. And so through clarity, like through finding that time within myself and removing the things that were like way too dysregulating. Arlo, you can't do that, my boy. <laughs> Um, like my job, <laughs> when I quit my job, I was like, oh, clarity, like, oh, I can be doing the things that I actually want to do. I can move to Europe. I can do van life. Like I've always wanted to do. And like things started to just be more clear. I started to receive that guidance, feel that trust within myself. And so it's just like the mold. Like I had to remove the obvious thing that was causing the dysregulation because you can't get it healthy really in the environment that's making you sick like maybe you can but that's like a common saying within the health community and i found it to be true for myself too so removing the really obvious thing maybe it's a relationship i remember when i was in my relationship and it just was so clear that it was like mimicking stuff from my past and like things i saw in my childhood and like bringing up all these triggers like it, ha it served a purpose there's a reason why we attracted to each other but when i finally let that go like that was my first level of like, aha, like I can see, I can feel, I'm happy again. And then removing the job and two years later, I think a year and a half later. And then also doing these practices of, okay, now I can get into mindful meditation. Okay, now I can do my breath work and it actually has like an extraordinary effect on me. And then we can do other things to retrain the brain. We can do EFT tapping. We can do just brain retraining like, different styles, you know, but pretty much just focusing on the concept of neurons that fire together, wire together. And so we would invoke, like, maybe it's a symptom, maybe it's a thought, maybe it's a feeling, maybe it's like just the belief of lack or the, the perception and your perceived reality of lack or stress or whatever it is, just getting into that space real quick, bringing it into consciousness, and then going straight into a high vibrational feeling, a visualization of a really beautiful, perfect scenery thing. That's how we heal the nervous system that's what brain retraining is in like a really quick nutshell EFT tapping is so powerful and it's so free to do you can do it whenever wherever however long you want I mean it can be intense so you want to take breaks and whatnot but there are tools you know energy work I think is really powerful too like when I go into my space with my angels and guides and I call forward especially the one right now who I'm working with a lot my guide they open doors for me. We create doors together and we walk through. And when I walk through, I choose to walk through. And that that's the key thing to everything within quantum uh, mechanics, within quantum uh, manifestation is the choice because you have a free will. You have your free will in this life. And so your mind has the free will to choose. Your soul knows. And so when you're choosing what your soul wants and you're not believing in the other things that are 
unconscious. Like you get to part of the unconscious, you get to move to that timeline and you move there quicker when you really, really trust in that process and you no longer believe in the old things. Okay. So when I go into this space with my guide and I'm choosing to walk through these doors that he shows me, I'm choosing to let go of the old things that are no longer serving me anymore. And to get into this really powerful place where like I open my eyes and like literally my reality has changed, like different messages pop up on my phone, more and more people book the 21 day program for resetting your nervous system and healing, um, um, changing your mind. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not explaining that well, but I'll link it below if you want to sign up for that. Starts May 1st. Uh, it's just like, it's so powerful, but it all has to come from, you know, being able to get into that space, from being able to know yourself. And you're not going to know your true self. You're not going to know what your soul wants if you're constantly just trying to survive in this dysregulated state. And so there has to be things that change, right? You're just, if you could do the same things over and over and over, you're going to get the same results. Things have to change. There has to be, you know, a commitment to change. Uh, you have to be dedicated and willing to do it and maybe when you're ready removing the thing that is obviously obviously damaging your life but your nervous system and your ability to regulate and then going down the path of regulation and I can say this it's so effective because I went down all the other paths too like I would sit in the IV chair for five hour days or no no five days a week up to like eight, nine hours. If I was doing a big bag for IV, I would do PC IV therapy. I would do ozone IV therapy. I would do replenish bags, which was just like a bunch of high dose vitamin C with zinc and uh, glutathione and all these other things. So I was in the, I lived in the IV chair in treatment for Lyme disease and mold for so long. I tried so many different treatments and I did do biomagnetism, similar to biomagnetism, it's craniobiotic therapy, and that helped a lot with the Lyme stuff. But after that, I was still left with this dysregulation. I couldn't go into other environments. I couldn't go into people's houses. I couldn't have people come into my house. I could barely like, you know, go out and like run my errands. I would still have to come home and strip all my clothes off. And like, because I was so sensitive to environments and the thing that set me free was nervous system regulation, was retraining my mind, was like getting into a place of regulation. And everything has changed from there. Like I get to see things so clearly now. I get to see the truth of things, the truth of relationship, re relationships, the truth of my past. Like I get to relook at things in a different way, in a more centered, aligned way, and move forward choosing the path that is most aligned with my soul because you will never be fulfilled on a path that is not in alignment with what your soul wants you'll always be longing for something else and that longing is suffering it's just complete suffering like you might choose the path that is you know on paper good the partner that's on paper good the job that's on paper good but you have that feeling that you want to be somewhere else doing something else that you know it's available to you when you choose that path so I hope that that was helpful. I hope that that resonated and was exactly what you needed to hear today. If you want to sign up for the 21 day program, we're going to go into all these different modalities, all the things that I was talking about. Each day will have a specific thing that is going to help you come back to yourself, regulate, see the truth in things, see what can be adjusted, what can be, you know, left behind if you choose to do that or however you know it is in your reality but i'll give you the tools and that will all start to fall into place and make sense for yourself and so i'm really really excited for that i'm so happy to have you guys in that program i will leave it below it is through Calend calendly so you just book anytime on may 1st and that will sign you up and then every day i will email you the video for that day so and i'll also link other ways that you can work with me one-on-one -on -one. I have a doggy friend here asking if Arlo can play, so I'm going to go out there. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new here. Leave a comment. I love your comments. I promise when I get into a place with more service, I will be more responsive, but I go up to the house to the Wi-Fi to upload these videos, and then by the time I have it uploaded and come back down here, I barely have any service, but I do see your comments. I love reading them, and I'm here with you, and soon I will have more service once I head to Austria. I'm going to Austria next month to meet a friend there and we're gonna travel all through Austria and I'm super super excited but before that I'll probably 
stop. So I'm more, not like South, South Italy, but kind of South Italy. And I'm planning to go to Dolomites and to stop in, uh, what is it? Lake Garda and see family in Verona. So Lake Garda, when I, <laughs> all right, I'll leave you in a second. But when I was deciding to do this, I was like, all right, I'm going to do it. My, my life changes are always like a button, you know, getting Arlo, booking the trip here, like just all the, <laughs> I remember these moments so clearly. So when I was like, I saw the plane ticket, I was going to book it. I picked venice because i was originally going to go to lake garda because this sounds silly but i watched eat pray love with my roommates in california and it re-sparked that thing in me that i was like i need to go do my dream and live in europe and then i put it on my instagram story and one of the one of my really sweet followers on there sent me uh photos of lake garda i was like i gotta go i gotta go so <laughs> lake garda is kind of like what set this all in motion for me so i'll be really excited to go see it i actually ended up booking um booking that ticket to go to lake garda but then i found a more beautiful place to stay on lake como so i actually never went to garda yet so that should be happening in a few weeks i don't know i'm really loving it here on the farm now so now that i'm regulated <laughs> and i i will kind of keep you guys updated on what I decide with that. There are more and more dogs coming, so it is time to go. I will see you tomorrow.